Hello guys, I love Nikon. Only last week we discovered that our D500 uh, camera would finally get a free full Wi-Fi function so that we in the future can use the D500 with all free softwares like QSLR dashboards and with every mobile device we want to remote control it or to access pictures or videos on the camera. And today they have announced that also the D7500 would get that update uh, beside a few other cameras from Nikon that also get the free Wi-Fi function. So we are no longer limited to only using the snap bridge and I will now show you how the new firmware changes the menu and what we can do with a camera then. Well, this is the D7500 with a firmware version 1.01. .01. And if in this menu we go to the uh, Wi-Fi settings, then you, will, then you will notice that you can only access the current settings, which shows you the SSID of the uh, inbuilt Wi-Fi network, the encryption, um, some things like the password for the connection, subnet mask and DHCP and IP address server. So um, yeah, nothing much to do here. The only thing we can do here is, um, is connect this camera with our SnapBridge app, something nobody really wants to do because all functions are very limited. So let's have a look at how this looks with a new firmware 1.1. So with a new firmware version in use, the 1.10 version, we should now be able, if we go to the Wi-Fi setting menu, to have a new menu point which says establish Wi-Fi connection. If we enter that menu point, then now we have a chance to see the name of a network our camera is opening and we can access that network with a password shown below. So let's do this on our PC. If now we start an app like QDSLR dashboard on our Mac PC or mobile device, um, then we should be able to connect to the camera. I'll click on Nikon. And now it says it is connected to the Nikon wireless camera, which I hold in my hand and I'll open the um, lens here and I'll click on live view and now we should see everything which can be seen through our camera. Free Wi-Fi on D7500 finally thank you Nikon.